Hey, Warren Eckstein here. You know, we all seek attention from time to time, and it's no different with our dogs and cats. So are you lucky enough to have one of those attention-seeking pets? You know, the dog or cat that knows exactly what to do to get your attention. Let's face it, as I said, we all love to get attention sometimes, but a lot of people don't understand that dogs will respond and cats will respond to attention, whether it's negative or positive. That doesn't mean that much to them as long as they're getting attention. And that's what's so important to remember. It's like the person whose dog is barking, and they go over to the dog and they start paying a lot of attention, knock it off, shut up, be quiet, come here, give you a toy, whatever. They don't realize that they're actually reinforcing that behavior. So for example, years ago I was working with a dog, many, many dogs, and Let's, let's take this example. The dog would grab a shoe from the closet, bring it out to the guardian. The guardian would take the shoe away and say, bad dog, what did you do? Then give the dog a toy of his own to show the dog that he should be playing with his toys and not her shoe. Shame, 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 shame. Why is that wrong? Because what you just did is your dog realizes that if he gets a shoe, he's not only going to get attention from you, but he's also going to get a toy to play with. So what happens is they develop this habit of grabbing the shoe or grabbing something else, knowing that you're going to respond to it. And cats are no different. What about the cat that you're sitting around and you're watching TV, your favorite shows, or maybe it's Seinfeld, Yellowstone, I don't know. And the cat comes over and he's whacking you and you say, leave me alone. And he's whacking you and you say, leave me alone. Well, five minutes before that, the cat might have been fast asleep somewhere else in the house, but now he wants some attention. And he's demanding it and he's going to get it because if he slaps you in the face enough times, you're going to respond. But remember... Dogs and cats will learn quickly what works and what doesn't work. So, for example, if they try something a few times to get your attention and you're not responding, over with that, they'll try something different. It's all about positive reinforcement. You know, positive reinforcement will effectively ensure that you reap what you sow. In other words, if you're getting attention for what, something you did or, or a way you responded, uh, you get the reward. Now, that reward may not be exactly what I might think is a good reward, but the dog or cat's getting attention, that's enough of a reward for him. So it's important to be consistent with your pets. And I mean this seriously. So many dogs will grab attention. I remember years ago working with a dog uh, that when it was younger, it had a limp. It had something called panosteitis, where it would limp on one leg one day, another leg the other day. And it was a puppy. And it got a lot of attention for that, a lot of love and a lot of hugging. And let's face it, we all love to, to schmooze over dogs and cats that are not feeling so well. But what happened is a year later, two years later, after he outgrew this panosteitis and was no longer limping, when the dog wanted to get some attention, the dog would fake limp. Yeah, the dog was a bit of a hypochondriac. He would fake limp to get some attention. So it's important to watch your pets carefully. Give them all the attention they want. That's great. But make sure you're not being conned by your dog or cat. You heard me, conned by your dog or cat. They are absolutely amazing when it comes to realizing what they can do to get your attention. I've even had dogs over the years where uh, they didn't pee in the house, but they would fake pee. They would lift their leg because they know the owner would get up and say, let's go out for a walk. So the dog actually, actually trained their guardian to take them out because he fake lifted his leg. Now, I know this may sound crazy to a lot of people, but having trained over 40,000 animals, I got to tell you, I've heard all the stories. So the bottom line is this. Give your dogs and cats a lot of attention, a lot of positive attention. But again, remember this. I often joke, you hear me on the radio all the time saying, I've gone into homes, I've said the word no, and the dog comes thinking that's his name because he hears it so much. Dogs and cats will respond and, 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 and react to the way you react. So if you overreact or react in a, in a way positive or negative and it's getting your dog or cat attention, they'll take it. They'll take it. So be careful with that. Make sure that you're giving your dog attention for the, the positive things he does and not the negative thing he does. Sometimes if they don't get enough attention for something that they're doing, they'll just stop doing it. It's that simple. Yes, dogs and cats are attention seekers. And take it from Warren, they know how to get your attention. And, and I, I talk about this all the time, and it's so important because I run into this. Warren, my dog does this and I do that. Uh, my dog is is uh, humping someone's leg, so I say, get off that leg, get off the leg, get off the leg, get off the leg. Don't realize they're getting the dog more excited at that point, paying a lot of attention to something that they don't want the dog to do. And the dog looks at them and says, hey, I'm getting a lot of attention to this. Let me just keep doing it. So remember, dogs and cats and some people respond to attention. Whether that attention is negative or positive makes no difference to them. So focus on the positive attention. You have a much, much better behaved pet. I'm Warren next time. Tune into the Pet Show.